on her on her on her shirt. Uh, maybe second, maybe second semester. I'll teach you guys how to write your person. Oh, yeah. My kids loved it. They loved it last year. Because when you sign your name on a document, it has to be your signature. Your signature is first of writing. Okay. Huh? We did. You were second. Yes, you did. You probably did. Yes, of course I did. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So um, we have a or a n. It is a root word, right? Uh, it's a prefix, so it comes in the beginning, and what does it mean? Okay. No. Not everybody, let's not all say it at the same time. What? Okay. So give me some, it's a prefix. Yeah, give me some words that have A or A-N at the beginning that mean, that makes the word mean not. Antisocial. All right. Now, this is interesting because is Thai social a word? Yeah. Ah, and Thai, this is a root on its own, and you're right, it does mean not, okay? But for the purposes of today's lesson, I just want either A or N, right? Like we talked about atypical. Typical is a word that stands on its own. But if we put A in front of it, it means not typical. Okay? I understand that. Yes. Okay. What else? What do we come up with, guys? Yeah, it, but anti stands on its own, and oh. anti means not as well. So we have uh, roots and prefixes, and sometimes they mean the same thing, right? But we're concentrating on the A or A-N. No, we're not A Aside. Aside. That's the politician. No. Absolutely not. When we say yes or no, does that mean not on the side? I mean, they mean if you put it aside, on the side. it's going on the you side. Mm. You say move aside, you're moving to the side. Alright, you guys can vote whether you think that that one works yeah, or yeah. not. No, bro. Antidote. Okay, what'd you say? Antidote. Antidote, okay, that's going to that's gonna fall under the same thing so with that anti, right? With the antidote. Okay. Um. Oh, you're right. Uh, so you think it has two M's in it, though, actually. <laughs> All right, so symmetrical, like I said, means the same on both sides. But if you put the A in front of it, it's not. It's not even. All right, give me another one, guys. Um, 
Nay? What about none? Nay. Oh, yeah. Nay. Okay. Nay. Yeah. Yay or nay. Very good. All right. What about in another language? It's not a? N A D A, right? All right. Michael, what'd you say today? Bez. Bez. B E Z. And what? Language is that, kiddo? Russian. Russian. Ooh. Fancy. All right. But you gotta hand it a little dance. Maybe next class. Okay, then we have to draw a picture of something that is not something. Lacey, what'd you draw? I didn't know what to put. Didn't know what to put. LaShawn, can you help Lacey out? Yeah, LaShawn. Like, I'll put nothing. Why do you keep looking at my shoes? Mm -hmm. I can't see that. He got a foot fetish. They're very fancy. You like them? He got a foot fetish. Okay, so what do we, what do we put here? I put nothing or nothing. You know, is it like something? How about, can we do that? Does that mean you're allowed somewhere? Oh, that means no. Oh, but LaShawn always likes my little snake videos. Oh, okay. All right. So, we see A or N as a prefix, it means not. Okay? All right, guys. We, um, okay. Next class, we're going to do a quick review um, for the vocab test. Actually, you know what? We're going we're gonna to review the vocab test now. Beginning of next class, because today's Tuesday, we're going to have a vocab test. And you know it's an open notebook, right? I've never had one. But like I said, if your notebook looks like this, not going to help. All right, so let's do a quick review for those. Just have to find it. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Just let me see it. Bro, you know, you never worked for me. Oh, wait a second. I know y'all seen loving basketball. I know y'all seen loving basketball. Yeah. Oh, no. Stop playing with me, bro. Exactly. I got vocals, bro. No, that part just you. You can't say that part. Hit that note. Okay. Exactly. She can't be good for that note. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, let's do a quick review for our vocab test. Okay? Um, all right, the root extra means what? Extra? Extra or extra? Outside or beyond? So, right, beyond or what'd you say, Priscilla? Outside. Or outside. Okay, what does plausible mean? Possible? Believable. What does the root A or A N mean? Okay, so if something is atypical, it's what? Not typical. Very good. Okay. Um Hey, what does macro mean? A big. 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 Like, small. What about micro? Small. Small. Tiny. small. small. What it what it um if something is irrefutable? What? Irresistible. irresistible. Why are what the what meaning that is irresistible? It can be changed. Can't. It can be changed. Right. Well, irrefutable well, evidence irrefutable. cannot be overturned. Oh. So when you were talking, when you said irresistible, all right, so um, the root, and resistant. we had it, guys. Oh, we had the root IR, okay? And IR means not as well, okay? So you'll see that you have roots that mean the same thing. So you said irresistible, right? And that means resistible. not Resistible, very so good. So what word did you say? I said irrefutable. So that means not refutable. Right, and what does refutable mean? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> means it can't be overturned. It is true, okay? 
Uh, what about hydro or hydra? Water. Water. I need some of that right now. I can go to the restroom. I mean, can I go to the water? That's it. What? Alright, what if uh, something is iconic? What does it mean? Iconic? Um, like the, um, what's the known symbol for it. thingy? Yeah, known for it. Known for, very good. Uh, what does it mean to analyze something? To break down. So figure it out. Through, ah. Figure it out. Exactly. And do they want us to analyze lots of things at school? Yes. Analyze everything. Alright, uh, what if something is plausible? Possible. Believable. Believable. Very good. Um, what about bias? Unfair. 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 <laughs> What's a protocol? Oh, like a procedure. That takes place when? Uh, in an in emergency, like in a brain hospital. In the beginning, the middle, or the end? Oh. A protocol. Throughout. Throughout the whole thing? So beginning. Beginning. Proto means? Oh, beginning. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, the first. Proto means first, right? Yes, we have prototype. Aqua. Agua. 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 Mm, when Jonathan gets oh. back. All right. What about the root cron? C H R O N. Con. No, they look at the notebooks. Who? Wait, what? What's the question? Uh, what's the question? Do you, do you see cron? Hang on. No. Uh, what does it mean to be altruistic? I got that. Well, you can look in your notebook. Unselfish. Unselfish. Yeah. Yeah. Kind. Yeah. Caring. Okay, so if someone is altruistic, are they self-centered? What do you mean by self-centered? Self -centered? Self -centered. It's all about me. Oh, no. no. Uh, okay, um, and then what about the root cred? Believe or trust. Okay, so that's the quiz. All right, so when you guys come in, I'll have it loaded in the Google Classroom, give you guys some time to do it, and that's going to be the vocab quiz. Okay, pretty easy, guys. You guys did really, really well today. Okay, um, all right, so the next thing that we have to do, remember, we have to get better with our writing. So, let's see. Okay, guys, so underneath your little I mean, square that. That. I mean, never for that. your vocab, you guys are going to rewrite these sentences and you guys are going to make the corrections. And I'm going to come by and I'm going to check to see if you guys are doing it. Okay? All right, while y'all are doing this, I'm going to take attendance, okay? Yeah, do you guys remember how we did it last time? So you rewrite the sentences with the corrections, and then we'll go over it step by step. Do we have to write that on this? You don't have to write the main sentence. Just go ahead and write the corrections. Write the sentence correctly. I'm very thirsty. You're going to be okay. You're always thirsty. Okay. You can start working on this. If you did it, talk to him. Just when I'm going to find you, you're talking. All right, LaShawn, Juan, and LaShawn. Jonathan, Lacey, Matea, Sakiria, Lindsay, Zakim, Rezaia, Ramon, Priscilla, Habib. There he is. Uh, Jose. I don't know. I got myself by Hollywood. Lapita is not here. All right. Michael Mars, Preston, Michaela, Terrence. And Sean. Did you get to school late, Terrence? Okay, babe. Just want to make sure. Oh, we yeah, I got the fruit loop, Hollywood. I'm Hollywood, yeah. I'm Hollywood. I'm Hollywood. That means drop. Oh, you put it in. You know, in a drop. She's talking about Josh. She's talking about Josh. I know who she's talking about. You're good. Josh, how big it is. I forgot. He got a piano in his living room. He got like three living rooms. I put up. 
Yes, you may. You make a pass in castle, kiddo? I don't know who booty shorts is. Bro, his jump. How you know? How you know? Bro, he used to them biker shorts, bro. Keep missing on that bike. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, you caught him on? You got a hole in your jacket. No, I did not know that. You know, I'm like, 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 I'm Irrefutable evidence. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't think you know what we're doing. So Miss Newman, I didn't do that. Hello? Hello? Hey, 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 all right, I'm going to give you guys three more minutes and then we have to get started. Siri, set the alarm for three minutes. All right. Okay, so like you can't flip all this stuff around. It has to go like this. But if poet is not right, then you can change it. Does that make sense? Say for ask people like Absolutely, that's exactly what I want you to do. Okay. Yes. Don't change the structure of the sentence. Just change the words.
All right, and my timer is going off. Do we need a couple more minutes? Yes. Okay. Siri, something along the way. <laughs> so I got some. Oh no, the table. It's broken. <laughs> Alright, Sean, are you working on it or am I gonna. Okay, man. done with your sentences, go ahead and grab an edge book, okay? Um, and then you guys are going to need your workbooks too. I know it's been a while since we've been in the workbook. Where, where's the 
where's the comma going to go? At the frost. At the frost. Language. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need another comma here, or is it fine with just one? After poet. Yeah. Yeah. After poet. A popular. Oh. Oh. I know where that part goes. Very good. I'm going to explain that to you guys. All right. What else? You got to make the J. She already did. Look at you. I got the line. Preston, stay with me. Stay with me. All right. Uh, what else? A period. A period. No. Okay, I heard a period, but we're, we're going to get to that. All right, do we think that this needs to be capitalized? Yes. No. 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 Raise your hand if you think it does need to be capitalized. Raise your hand if you don't think it needs to be capitalized. It does not need to be capitalized. Okay? And I can totally see why y'all would think that it would need to be capitalized, right? It seems like it's a proper name, all right? But in this instance, it's not. What else do we see before the period? The I. What? Yes. We're looking for spelling too. Ceremony. I knew someone was wrong. What are we gonna? What's correct? E. E instead of A. And then Jonathan. E. What do we need? A period. A period. All right. Good. Okay. We'll do this one, and then I'm going to come back because I want to tell you guys something about the commas because that's super important. It's part of the grammar, part of the writing. When you guys use these things wrong, it's going to make your point too. Okay? So uh, they're very simple rules that we have to follow, and you follow them for any kind of writing assignment that you're going to do. Sometimes, sometimes um, grammar changes a little bit, but I know, but it's not. But if you know, follow these rules, even in 30 years, it's going to be correct. You can talk with this mask on all day. All right, let's look at B. What's the first thing I need to do? Oh, the couple is I am in. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess you'll, you'll be the closer. All right, what else here? Rhyme. Rhyme is wrong. It's R H Y M P S. Oh my gosh. Hey, sir. Okay, what else? She just studied the encyclopedia. And that one's to say uh, the often, the O F E M, that you have to do that. Um, often. Offer. Okay, read the sentence. Okay, read the sentence. Often. Often. Let me see what it is. right? Yeah. Okay. What else? And now this, this, this last part's tricky. And. And. Yeah, and. Here. Wait, wait. Wait. There's no S. Okay. Yeah, check out the S and the N's. So which S am I taking off? Alpha and N's. No, I didn't do that. What the? I did not mix it. What's up with you, bro? Ooh, what else? Ooh. What do you mean, ooh? All right, we're very up with me. We're very up with me. OK, so I'm just going to do a period. And is this correct? John, I was supposed to say that. Oh, that's all right. All right. Okay, you guys, when we are trying to figure out what the words are in a sentence and if they're used correctly, we have to think about um, plural and singular. Okay? <laughs> so for the first part, there should be a comma in this sentence. Boris, where does it go, babe? Okay, so Vara thinks there needs to be a comma somewhere in this sentence. Where does it have to go? Wait, 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 can you say that again? A comma needs to go in here. It is. All right, very good. All right. 
This is called an introductory clause. We're introducing the sentence, okay? So in a poem that rhymes, we have a little pause, okay? So the comma has to go there. So I did need a comma. All right. We're going to work more with prepositions. You guys know prepositions and prepositional phrases? Mm -hmm. yeah. A little bit you've heard of it, okay? So what we're talking about with the sentences, we have to figure out what the subject is and what the verb is. So I'm just going to just, when we're looking at the sentences, the subject and the verb can never be a part of the preposition, the prepositional phrase, okay? So in this sentence here, in a poem is going to be the preposition, to be the prepositional phrase. Can the subject or verb ever be in the preposition? No, okay? What is the subject for this sentence? Poem. <laughs> Oh, wait. I was about to say, yeah, uh, the subject? What is the subject in this sentence, guys? The subject. What is, what is, what is this sentence about? It's about the subject of the sounds. Very good. Oh. Sounds are going to be our subject. What is the verb? You bad, another people's part? Nigga, it's what you Sounds are what at the end of the line? Stay with me, guys. I know that this is this is hard stuff. Stay, stay with me. Okay, this is going to be our verb. When we have a subject that is plural, the verb must be singular. Okay? If our subject is singular, then the verb is plural, okay? And we'll do more of that. Right. So I've got sounds that is plural. Right. So what do the sounds need to do? Do they need to occur or do they need to occur? Occur. 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 This is plural, baby. Okay? So our <laughs> verb has to be singular. I'm very intellectual. Okay? All right. Now, we talked about this here. We have lines, so the end of the lines, or the ends of the lines? The end of the lines. End of the line. Ends of the lines, okay? So this actually stays, because we are talking about the lines, and it's the ends, because we're talking about two things here. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? Yes. All right. So in this sentence here, and I'm just going to go over it really quickly. So when we're looking for the subject and the verb to make sure that we have, they like to call it a little thing called subject-verb agreement. Okay? Singular subjects go with plural verbs. Plural subjects go with singular verbs. And we'll do more of it. But when we're looking in sentences, we're trying to figure out what the subject and the verb is, that's the hard part, right? But if we have prepositions, prepositional phrases, we call that, it's like garbage in the sentence, okay? So we can actually take out in a poem, all right? We can take out at the ends, and we can take out of the lines, all right? So that really helps us narrow down. What, what the subject and the verb is, all right? Because the subject and the verb can never be in prepositional phrases. But we'll go over that more. All right, so what I want to come back here and talk to you guys about are these commas in the middle of a sentence, all right? If you have two commas in the sentence, okay, the rule is if I can take this part out, and the sentence still makes sense, the commas are used correctly, okay? So take this out of the sentence and see if it still makes sense. Can you write it down? It does. It does, okay? So if it does, then we separate it by the commas, okay? 
That means it's used correctly. Thank you. Yeah, just give me, yeah, you can. If we can't take it out of the sentence for the sentence to make sense, then the commas are wrong. We don't need them. Okay? It's a little thing. It's called non-essential. It's not essential to the sentence for it to make sense. It's just a little something extra they're telling us. Okay? All right. But really good. Really good, guys. Okay? We're going to do more of this. All right. How did you guys do? Good. Good. I did wonderful. Did you get it? All right, because the grammar thing, when you guys are taking the FSA, like I said, if you guys use the grammar rules wrong, they're going to they're take points off for that. But if we remember the simple rules, when you guys write, you guys are going to be golden. All right? All right, so the next thing that we have to do is we are going to start a new story. All right? So you guys grabbed your edge books, and the first thing that I want to do is look at the story. Then we are going to go into our workbooks and we're going to review some vocabulary and there's a little thing, a little exercise that I need you to do. See you later, kiddo. Yeah. All right. Oh, you like, you hate it. Oh, you said play more folks. All right. So the story that we're going to read is going to start on Page 468. The vocab actually starts on 466, okay? And then the story starts on page 468 with the author, then there's a picture, and then we go into it. All right. So the story that we're going to read is called Just Lather. That's all.